Alright, so we've we got the lag. Chat, we're gonna go I know. Lag, man. All right, Jeff wins a little. Yeah, Jeff wins. Jeff wins the lag. I seen Jeff play a couple of times. It's the first time I seen him play on a stream table, though. Yeah. So he's a. Seven. Jeff's always been a solid, solid player. Um, he has the same benefit Shane Van Bowie has. Uh, he's deaf. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you can see, he's, uh, I don't know if it's this year or the other, he's got an earpiece out. Oh, right. He actually might have taken him out so he don't hear nothing. That's what I would do. I don't want to hear you uh, people talking schmack. Yeah, he, uh, he might have took it out so he don't hear nothing. I love you guys. All right, my man. There man, is Aggie. a rule clarification that I like to point out for one second, please. If you guys can take one second. There's no soft breaking in nine ball or pattern racking. If your opponent is soft breaking or pattern racking, please come to the tournament desk and we'll implement the three point rule. Three point rule is three balls must pass the head string. So if you make a ball on the break, you have to pass two on the head string. But that's only if you're focused on break. If they're making a legitimate effort at breaking that firm, hey, man. Hey. Um, there's nothing they can do. Nothing better than my Mez family, y'all. Hey, like speaking of, let me tell you Two balls in the gone. back, two right. the rack. My man Phil, do you want to know what a trooper he is? Yeah. Player he Thank is? you guys. What up? My man Rex his AMG last weekend on the way to a Yuba City tournament. Rex it. 90% of people when they wreck their AMG, it's just done. Let me yes. take my and car home, I'm going to ride this up. Right. No, he towed his car home, got to ride the Yuba, finish the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Phil P, man, he's a trooper, man. We know what the troopers are, man. All right, Jeff Padgett in the break, and you're live. You got <laughs> my man James Harris, Rod Hanna, Mets West State Tour. Get off a pretty sporty break right there. He's got shape too. Built in, Harris. Um, is that music loud in the background there, guys, on the stream? Yeah, I think that. Talk to the player. Is he on his way? You're right, Jeff did hit a good break. Yeah, he had a good break. On the one. If, that, if that three passes to five, this could be C. Three does look like a pass you know to five. I mean, we might be looking at three to one having fun real quick. Got a little yeah, right? center. You didn't want to be that far. I mean, you still call it cut it in two rails back to the five. So do you slow roll this ball and bounce one rail, or you come back two rails? You can shoot this a couple ways. Inside English, just slow roll, mm -hmm. like you said, one yeah. rail back. Or you can just spin it two rails, come back to the same spot the key ball's at now. The problem with that is overhitting it. Yeah. So he went one rail and in. Yeah. He's got a good angle. I know Parks here. like shooting that one rail and in. He kills it inside English. Yeah. <laughs> Bear with us. Rod's been in the woods for a little while. Yeah. Sorry about that, fellas. Skips at eight. eight. <laughs> in the brackets, Rod. And, and, and he's typing with his elbows over here. <laughs> Charlie and Ernesto, table 19. There Charlie and Ernesto, table 19. Ernesto goes to nine. Charlie goes to seven. Come get your rack. All right. Shot on the rack right here. He handles this good. He's out. Lag turned out to be big for Jeff. Wins the lag, <laughs> breaks and runs first rack. So oh, three it's three to one. one. How you like it? Three to one. Mr. Smooth hasn't got out of the chair. <laughs> Mr. Smooth is smooth sitting. Hey, what's up, Tom? Yeah, it's a little funny on this thing. I think mean, you can punch it. Actually, it doesn't look really slow rolling and take the touch shot on the line. Yeah, I like I like settling a lot. Yeah. You know? It doesn't put you in that much trouble. Well, it's a good shot, like I said. First rag, break your run. You don't want to let that cue ball fly. Just take the shot. Right? <laughs> this guy's not messing around. Come to handle some business. He's up three to one. Yo, 
watching the Mez West State Tour live from Diamond Village in Fresno. We're out here in the booth with my man, James Harris. We are sweating in Jeff Padgett versus Skip Nakakis. Jeff Lee's 3-1. Well, you know, Skip's not going to roll over for nobody. No. He's a player. All right, Skip the Cock is a local, you know, usually plays at hard times in Sacramento, Sacramento. Stuff, right? Yeah, Sacramento. Yeah, we're in Fresno. Yeah. How far is Fresno from there? Uh, Fresno from Sacramento? Yeah. Three and a half hours? Three and a half? Oh, so the same trip for me now. Yeah. All right. All right, Skip the break. He took a lot oh, of that. Oh, man. Look at this. I think that's going to hurt. If that four goes by the five. I know it's clear from here, but if it goes right. by the five, Jeff might has a chance to go four and one here. One, two, and three down here on the same side of the table. Right. I, You know, I like, well, he's checking now. Yeah, he's checking it now. He wants to make sure. We'll tell by the angle he gets off the th on the three. He gets to the side where he's at on the three right here and, and presses down. He might be okay. Well, I think the four goes, but you got to get the angle to roll the four in and bump the eight in the shape of the five without having to do nothing goofy. So he's going to get that angle. He's going to shoot the two and then just take that little 45 on the, on the three ball. Yeah, he, he overrolled it a little bit. No, I think he's okay. You think he's Just good? cut this in and come back to center of the table. Like I said, he's got to get an angle when he cuts the four, he bumps the eight. If he gets the angle and cut the four, bump the eight, he gets on the five. Mm -hmm. And then the six, seven, nine is all on the side. He's not playing that four, eight in the side, is no, he? No, no, no. Okay. I don't, like I said, unless the four don't go by the five. But from the looks of it here, he goes by. About to find out. Q and low. He is drawing this. It must not go by the five. Mm -hmm. And now it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, definitely don't go anywhere from there. He hit that ball a little tentative, you yeah, know? Undecisive. It right? was yeah. tentative. It yes. was, That's he, he wasn't decided where he wanted exactly. to go with that cue ball. Exactly. And now uh, it's going to cost him a because now he could kick this ball ball on the good side and, and get down there by the nine yeah, ball. you got to get a roll. Though. Right? you got to get a roll there. Well, direction here. If he fins it, if he catches it good, he can get to the right side of it. Asking for a real clarification there. Yeah, see? That's what I'm telling him. He, he was calling that four. Oh, that's so what he asked know. Oh, he said, okay. I, you know, I got to call the four. Well, Skip comes to the table with unenviable position here, but it's, yeah. This is the shot you want <laughs> down 3 1, and he's just crashed on the break, and you got an opportunity to get back to the table. He's going to have to protect himself here. That's that's what I see. I mean, he jacked tried up to, over right? the line, and back you got to down the rail. And I, I thought if he uh, tried to put a little draw on it, he can go on the side. Oh, that's a problem. Jacked yeah. up. Yeah. You know. And Jeff, you know. It's because you're not wearing a collar shirt. It's because you're not wearing a collar shirt. All right. Jeff, two rails back here. Maybe he goes one. Uh-oh. Yeah, he went two. Yeah, but it was a long two. Right. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't mean to, you know, bump that ball, but you know what happens, it's cool. Little cue control here. Wants to get a good angle on the six. Just like 
cut it in the center ball back and forth. Back and forth, back across the line. Put the cue ball, yeah, straight right across the line. Right. Back, cue ball back over here. I wouldn't try to spin this or anything, just center mm -hmm. ball cut it, because that's why. You're right, and and you know what? And that's what happens when you don't have the absolute control, because um, Vilmos is not bumping that six. No, Vilmos is coming right with the nine, you mean. Yeah, he's going to come right the Exactly. They're going to take all that out of the game, you know? Not leave themselves in trouble. From the Mads West HO, we hope everybody had a happy and safe holiday. And we'd like to thank you for tuning in with us when you could be doing other things. And we appreciate you. All right. Opportunity for Mr. Nakakis right here. Put the six in the corner, gain an angle on the seven, and uh, get out. Right. And he needs to. He needs to make a statement here. He needs to stop the bleeding. That's more like a scratch on the surface. He hit that good. He got, yes, he did. He got the seven, just roll it up. And that's the one tricky thing about Skip. Like when I first saw him, I didn't think he was such a technician, but he's got good form. Yeah. Gets through the ball good. You know, he stays down. He's a good shooter. Actually, he's in a lot of trouble here. If he rolls this in, he bumps the nine. So he's got to. Well, if you know you're going to cheat the pocket right? a little bit. Well, if you know you're going to bump it, can't you just nudge it out of the way a little Either bit? Or play to bump the nine. Yeah. But the problem with that is you don't know where you're going to end up. Missing the seven because you're looking to bump right. the nine. Well, if he hits top side, it'd be good. See, that's what I thought. He cheated the pocket just a little bit. There you go. I think Skip was being a little dramatic there. Skip, will you listen <laughs> to this early, later? Stop being dramatic. <laughs> All right. A little feather here. Oh, he missed cute. Yep, that's because he tried to he tried to feather it. Oh, he, man. he either missed or hit his knuckle on the edge of the table. I heard something. He missed He's going right for the tip tapper. Oh, he missed Now, a good player once told me that miscues are stroke, stroke flows, errors, right? Oh yeah. But sometimes you didn't chalk it, right? You couldn't. It could be it's not chalk, right? I'd say like. 80% mechanical error, 20%. I forgot the chalk okay. uh, I'm more like 90% mechanical error, 10% I forgot the chalk like you. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeff started out so that? good. I don't understand that. I don't understand that shot. Well, he's just going to he's just gonna back Why up this right in. He no. started out so strong and beautiful rag. Well, it was kind of a standard rag. He didn't hit that rag good, though. I love Jeff. <laughs> I've known him for 20 years. He got out. After 30 years, almost. Here you go. I like just cutting this in and leaving the cue ball up there by the chalk. Uh oh. No. Oh, we got it. Look at this. <laughs> Man, right you like this, Skip? Right now, Skip is looking at his crystal ball saying, Did I kick a cat on the way to work or How something? How do you like this, Skip? Skip just stabs this right in. Just gives up there. You got a lot of confidence in everybody. He just two strokes it. Just two strokes and then right in the hole. Jack up. Draw the side rail. Right? <laughs> Earl Strickland this ball. I like it though. He's taking his time. You know, he's probably cursing out the pool gods right now saying man no and that's what I like he, he's frustrated he knows the guy got Jeff got another role so he stood there for a couple extra minutes chalking his cue oh uh, he played that right played a little two way yeah smart play Jeff with an opportunity to go up 4-1 I think he's cutting this. I, yeah, I think he's going right at it. He's got to watch that scratch in the top corner, though. If he comes two rails out. He hit it fat again. Yep. And once again, uh, this is going to take all two seconds for, <laughs> for Skip to shoot. Yeah. 
he wasn't gonna let that one get away. No, we got three two action. Cause um, four two is deadly. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Andy Billiard Cloth, official cloth of the Mets West State Tour. Andy Billiard Cloth. I just seen. Yeah. Andy Cloth is sponsoring a halftime show on an NFL game. What? Yeah. I got tagged in it the other day. Let me show you. That's wow. Yeah, share that with me. Andy Cloth sponsoring a halftime. He tagged us. Uh... That's big. All right, folks, let me get quiet for a minute. I'm looking for something. It's been a great month for pool. What about that Jason Shaw? Oh, boy. I don't want to talk about that because your boy, Bo Rudigan, first pick, gets me. and he skips him. He deserved that. <laughs> well, but Bo, we didn't deserve that. Well, Bo always thinks that Shane, he's, he, he, Bo says Shane's the best nine ball, eight ball player on the planet. I think Jason Shaw just uh, handled that. Uh, Jason Shaw is the best shooter on the planet. Yeah. Pure ball maker in the hole. Beast. This guy is breaking solid, James. Jeff breaks well. He's always broke well. For 20 years, he's broke well. He's, he's not doing too bad right here. Shot at this two ball? Yeah, I, I think he has a little something. He does. He has, to, he has some work cut out for himself, though. So. Nice safety. Just lays him down on the end rail. Yeah, he has that good speed. All right, so Jeff comes with a long two ball here, plus he's snooker. There we go. I found that. Can we read it? Yeah, read that. Okay. Yeah. AndyClothUSA.com is proud to be sponsoring the NFL Alumni Central Florida Halftime Show during the Seahawks versus Buccaneers game on Sunday. Wow. Awesome. Hey, look at it. Andy Cloth. There's the NFL Andy Cloth logo. That is pretty hot. That's dope. Congrats. We'll make it a comeback, baby. All right. So Jeff makes a good hit on that, too. Mm-hmm. Skip and cut this all the way down. Look at that Look at speed. speed. Oh, he does the rail. Now, yeah, he got oh, it. Got there. You got the benefit of the, of the doubt. Dust the rail a little bit, but he's pocket speed. He's smirking a little bit. He's I think he does. He got away with that one. <laughs> You're right. The speed of the, the shot. Yeah, the speed of the shot allowed him to make that. Tad harder. That, that nudge sends it further off. Oh, yeah. 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 A little harder, and he's going to be in trouble. He's still got trouble here. The five ball's tied up. With Sherry. Tell him to lower that. Melissa. Sorry about that. I'm not going to compete with the radio in the back. We can get that lowered a little bit. Right? Bang your knee again? <laughs> All right. Skip the caucus. He have to pull his trying to say this. he's got trouble here with yeah. his five ball, so he's either gonna just fire this and try or play position for a safety or yeah, there's no more. He's gonna play. He might play the bank with the right and safety with behind the eight ball, or he might just nudge it forward. Yeah, so he got behind the eight. Yeah, and I think that's what he has to do to just try to keep this guy contained, you know, for a minute. Jacked up little spin action. The scratch is on too. Look at how he how he hit it. Wow. How do you hit it? That's why you gotta freeze that. 
cue ball behind you. <laughs> Super nonchalant, just drill that. Tough shot here. Yeah, he's got to just stroke it right before the side block it. Right there. Wow. Oh, he's going to get there, too. Look at that he's speed. Get over there. No. Yep. He over got there. Now he just has to put it right back where he started. Right? He's laughing. He's laughing because he nudged the ball. Figured he's going to get a shot there. I think you just got to thin this center play. Yeah. Yeah. And send the cue ball. But the only problem is making sure you don't scratch in that corner. Nope. I like the way Oscar does this. He has a little bit of extra juice so he can grab the rail and creep to the other side. He's not just going to go up and down on it. Because now you just put yourself in a position for the guy to out safe you. Yeah. I mean, wasn't well, nothing he could really, really do there, but, you know. I was Oregon. I was in Yakima. Yakima, Oregon? Yeah. Yakima, Washington? Washington, yeah. It was... um. It's very beautiful, very scenic. It's nice up there. Huh? It's very nice, yeah. It, it was great. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to be playing uh, the lead role of Detective John Rawlings in a new film coming out called The XYZ Experiment. Thought I'd just fill you guys in there. I didn't want to say it. I just asked him. Yeah, I can't show the Oregon one. Fill you. Watch it. Oh, okay. All I got a question. Good pool. Yeah. Do you know, because I'm a CSI, uh, SVU freak, mm -hmm. you know there's a John Rawlins on SVU? Mm -hmm. Okay. When I first read it, I was like, John Rawlins? <laughs> That's an SVU name. <laughs> well, you just might see a new SVU guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Jeff misses that in. Bowling hand for Skip. He and misses that ball. Huh? Yeah, this is going to be ABC. There's no problems here. And... uh it's going to be out. I just like to say it's good to be back home. It's where it all started. This is where it's going to end. Right here at the Mez West State Tour. I'm grateful for all opportunities that's coming our way. And grateful for Oscar and Desiree for giving me a chance to, uh, you know, help us promote our great sport of billiards. But we just beginning. I'm not trying to. I'm not watching. No. Yeah? And it was I Yeah. I'm just sidekick. I'd be sidekick. Huh? Sidekick I'd be sidekick. <laughs> I could be sidekick. Yeah, I yeah. I called it. Yeah. But that's, that's the way I started, I started going through because the list, you know why? That's the best of both worlds right there. Yeah. yeah. That's for sure. Show up and blow up all day. <laughs> all right, Skip the Cockers makes a move, and it's 3-3. It's, three, three. it's a, a tricky little match here. Actually, man. he showed a lot of patience that last game. He did not get frustrated. He, he you know, gets pool. Everyone yeah, gets rolls. So he absolutely. had a couple bad rolls. Absolutely. He stayed in control. He, he played the, the strategic safeties instead of going Hail Mary. Good, good point. And he got back in the match. It's racked three, brought three. to you by Aramith, Balls, and Qual. Simone. I just ordered us a set for Mr. Parks' pool hall. Oh, nice. Yeah, we've been my man, Brian Parks, my brother, you know I love you like no other. What a great accomplishment for U.S. Amateur Championship. I don't want to hear nothing. Don't come on with no snide remarks. Give my man his respect. What a great feat that he accomplished. I got respect for you, B. Parks, and the world does too. You my man. I appreciate that. That's what everyone forgets. Ernesto Baya plays in there. When he's won it. Kenny Bisman plays in there. He's one. It's a lot of guys. Henry Brogue plays in there. He's a three-timer. Yeah. They only say stuff about Parks because they feel that Brian is better than all of them. Right, but Brian lost to Ernesto Bayo in, in Vegas. Right? I remember. All right. Hick up. Hick up. That's, good, That's good, That's good. Yeah. Nice, nice little safety there by Skip. Nice safe by Skip right there. Thanks, and Jerry. so right now, we got action. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. Oh, no, that's good. That's the one I like. No, that's what we like. Yeah. Right. yeah. So Thank you. All right, uh, Desiree. Desiree Dominguez. Desiree Dominguez. No, I was about to say Desiree. Desiree Dominguez. 
letting us know we have the other view. So thank you. So I'm surprised you remembered since you weren't at the <laughs> wedding. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on, man. Broke my heart, dude. I'm so mad. Mad. But, you know, handle the business so we can forward business. True. You know what I'm saying? True. You want to come to the LA premiere and chill with your boy? Hell yeah. All right, then. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> we can, we can carpool. Pool. We can get a hammer level. That's all good. We, we do whatever we want to do. That's why my brother's dead. That's all <laughs> Oh, Skip tried to bury him there. He tried to, yeah. he tried to draw a straw yeah. behind the eight there. Ace? He's, well, he's, he's left it wide. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a well, hanger. The good thing about it, it, if he makes this one, the two's right in front right. of the pocket. Or else, if there was an Oscar, he put that little stop draw on it, snuggle you up oh, behind the six, and, draw right? behind the and just three rail right out. Mm -hmm. Three rail and one out until you shoot from there. <laughs> So will you be in London also for Moscow? Well, my brother, if it was um, if it was a little bit uh, earlier notice, the brother might have been there. But I'm just gonna say right now, USA Pool is back. Follow me, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at On the Wire Creative Media, and at the Moscone Cup for the latest updates. Nice good shot. shot on that yeah, one. what a good shot. Well, he's got to deal with this 4 7. What do you like here, James? Four, seven, I don't like that. Too, right? <laughs> Can you, all right, how about you juice it with inside and go up and down past the nine? Uh, try to come back to you. what you do when you're up 5 0. <laughs> <laughs> you don't try to get a shot. Game away two games. This is true. I might even just. Look at this. Oh, baby. You got to bump off the five to get a combo shot. And it's straight in, too. Yep. There is big gaps in between the two balls, and they're no. both off the rail, so it's not a hanger combo. Any combo is not easy unless it's hanging in the pocket. Right. Even then, it's not easy. But you know what? Give us a nice little stop stroke. A straight pool player like Thorsten Holman, he'll drill this shot. Oh, yeah. Phil um, went, John Schmidt will drill it, too. Phil hit one earlier. Phil hit one, yeah. yeah. You got to hit those clean, clean or else a four drifts towards the other pocket. I think he had to hit that a, a, a little firmer. Yes. Right? So well, the ball stops. Yeah. Skip the, look at this. Behind the back, Jack. Look at the, the three rails. Francisco shot. Three rails. Three rails to get right. Beautiful. Two rails back out to the side pocket. Right, that's right. Come right around. He had a two song. He's all right. Though. He's good though. Actually, he a little it, better than I thought. Right, yeah. But the first thing about the second round, <laughs> it was real slow. This table's quick. A little two railer here, and he's good. Look at that beautiful stroke. And Skip is um, you know, he's regaining control of the boat. He's still a little bit funny here, but he's better than where he was. Rail first here, James. Course. But a little 50 50 here. He hit it a little fatter. Yeah. yeah. He wanted to be down. He's feeling it right now. He cuts this right now. Yeah. And he's going to play the cue ball back up town. Of course. That's what he's looking at now. Yeah. He just did a three times play the one pocket style. Nine can end up on the diamond. Yep. Oh, no. No. No? <laughs> wow. He tried to ignore that ball. <laughs> Skip tried to ignore that that ball was, was going to a scratch bill, right? I'd like to thank our sponsor, CSI, Q Sports International, Ozzy Reynolds and the crew. Make sure you check check out Griff's in Las Vegas. Mark Griff's do pool down there. Griff's, I heard great things about it. Make sure you check it out. Sorry, I had a little side action with Skip over there. Once again, we'd like to thank everybody in the chat room for, for joining in and watching the Mez West Tour. We appreciate you. Dave Martin now, Fakara, Gentle Ben, Honey Snutch, 
John Pizzuto, Jose J, Pool Hero, Sad Sop, Saturated Fats, and Slate's Pool Room. Thank you for watching the Mass West Day Tour. If my man Molinari Mike is in the chat room, please let me know. All right. Dang it the heck, I forgot the one thing Santana asked me to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Possible combination here. Great shot. That would hit good. Well, he can survive here. You know, he doesn't have a pocket unless he wants to back cut it towards the eight ball, which I don't think is a, a good choice. But he, he has a couple of options here. He can play safe, easy, put him in trouble. Shot there by Skip brings Jeff right up to the table. All right, here goes Jeff's opportunity right here, James, to get right in this match. Pops is out. Bull draw for the three. All right, he's good on the three here. One rail back to the five. Jeff needs to get out of here. And yeah. Just gave away three games this game. Right, right, and Skip is hungry. Gets a good bump. Five in the side. Need to manufacture an angle here, though. Jeff started out real strong in this match. I like to see him regain that form and just handle his business right here. Gotta, yeah, he's okay. Right yeah, he's okay. And you can't depend on those bumps, man. Easily put yourself out of line. TJ Hill to the tournament desk. TJ to the tournament desk. When I was at the U.S. Open, I, I learned a new terminology. What's that? The predator apparatus that you see right there is called the predator rest. It's not called a bridge. The predator rest. The predator rest. For real? Yeah, for real. Because you know I wanted to say bridge like 40 times. <laughs> He's bumped another ball for shaving. <laughs> hey, you know... You know, he gives himself a little head scratch because he knows you could bump a ball and be in purgatory or you could be in heaven. Right? Yeah. It can happen. But it keeps you out of line and you just get more and more out of line and you just right? start depending on those balls. And yeah, true. Well, he needs a little a little speed and direction here. Get right on that eight ball. Table 11, going to get Bobby Hur and Sam Millard. Bobby he Hurt and you were right, but you know what? 11, even race he, to seven. Please come get your act. He did not stay down on that shot. No, he never missed he, the Susan yeah, shot. Exactly. Exactly. He didn't stay down on that shot.
Beautiful shot. <laughs> Skip gets a little bump. <laughs> Skip gets a little bump. Now, did that? Did it get in the way? I got in the way. Hold on. Let's see. Did it get in the way? Yeah, he does not have that pocket. Huh? Can't really tell by his body language, but I. No, he's playing. He's safe. ducking, huh? He's playing safe. He's gotta get that behind the frozen. You know, Skip could have hit that ball a little better for himself. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Just need to take his time a little bit. When you mess up, you just gotta clean it up. Glue him to the back of that ball. Yeah, you have to put him to the back. Put him of the on ball the back of that ball. Bad things can happen when you let a guy hit the ball. Exactly, because especially a nine ball, he right? can slot this in. He can get a save. Lots of bad. <laughs> If he one pocket kicks this, he can stick the cue so right there and, and play it a shot. Time. There's too many things that can go wrong. He, he can, can make the ball. Yeah. He can slop the ball. He can play safe. He can two rail. He almost two rail the right almost two rail Scott Frost would have kicked that ball to that side towards that pocket, and the cue rock would have stayed right down there. Shout out to Frost and all the one pocket action going Actually, on. Actually, I was going to say shout out to Frost and uh, hope you get better. I know you're not listening, but if you do, hope you get better. He's got uh, found a, a mass or blood mass or something inside of him. Oh, man. He's at home resting right now. Well, prayers for him. I talked to him the other day. I hope you get better, man. All right, and Skip just taking what the table gives him and Skip forces the head to 5-3. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. it's 5-3. Can't give up chances. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Fast and Loose, Chris Santana. FastAndLooseDesigns.com. I believe right now he has a special going on. Uh, you go to his website. He had a Black Friday special going on. You need to check it out. Support my man, Chris Santana. Absolutely. You know, you bump those balls, you get a little out of shape, a little out of line, and it just continues, continues, continues. Uh, in the chat room, thank you, uh, Mr. B. Doc, for answering my question about the predator rest. Skip the break. He hasn't been breaking well. He scratched, he scratched uh, you know, a little out of control there. If he can get a good break and run here, he'll put the pressure on Jeff. He stopped that one. He got half the rack up table. No soft break in there. No. But you got a shot on the two? Yeah, yeah he's he straight does. at the two. Uh, the three is available, but that four eight. Four balls in trouble. Okay, we're here to see some little uh, prestidigitation here. You have to put a good stroke on this ball to come back uptown. He says, never mind. He has Carol, Carol four eight or or a safety. Oh, actually, now looking at the camera, the eight's safety here. He's safety. Safe. Mm hmm. This is a uh, just in a bad spot, right? And not because of the safety we're talking about. It's uh, the score. he knows in his head he's given three games away. Yes. And now Skip's playing methodical safeties on him. Exactly. So you start thinking to yourself. Look at that kick. Look at that. Wow. Kick. <laughs> Skip just puts his cue down. He says, "He says how I'm gonna beat that." The guy just kicks it dead in. What a great shot that was. But that's a testament to what you said. Yes. If you have a chance to lock him down, lock him down. Oh no. You know, he he gets in trouble, See, gets himself out of trouble, that, and puts himself out of here. trouble. I mean, he makes a great three rail kick shot. Can he cut this in? It looks like he can. Wow. Wow. 
And he boy, did he let loose. it fly, but look where he left himself. He let it On loose. On the rail. Long table back there. Okay, guys. This is, uh, this is this is a tester right here. I think this is one of those drill. You put the key wall down there and you try to cut this wall in good shape. So, James, you know he just cuts this in and gets perfect, right? He's going to cut it in and get perfect and Skip's going to lose his mind. Oh, <laughs> it's a tough shot down there. I mean, he's no, that was, oh, like I said, I you're know. fighting yourself yeah. too. You're like, I got a three round kick shot. I got a roll making three round kick shot. I make the great shot at the seven. And this is my reward, right? <laughs> but you know, you're supposed to pull up. You know, you're supposed to pull up right there. And Skip just taking out the trash here. You know, he's just taking what the table gives him. Get hooked to get a hand shoe. James hand shoe. The best three piece jump cue on the market, bar none, out of Waco, Texas. Hand shoe. Custom cues. Hand shoe. Best jump cue on the planet. Period. On the planet. Period. I'm not saying there's no good ones out there, so don't get to twist it. It's no. the best jump cue. My man makes a great on the planet. Makes a great product, James. All right, we said it before, but James, James, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff is in trouble here. He has to regain some kind of control here. And I don't know, maybe I'll take a break, go outside, collect my thoughts, come back. Yeah, he's had a four tough games where he's given Skip this. Right. Eight nine, seven eight nine, right. eight nine, seven eight nine. And you can't do that if you want to survive. And he's been breaking well. You we called that out. He's got an open shot of the woman. Yes, he does. It's not an ideal shot. I mean, you want to get a little closer, but it's a shot. I think right here, you really just you just collect yourself. Okay. You see what the table has and uh, make a plan and execute it. But I think I like taking a break right before the shot. I probably yeah. would have just took my break like he did, mm -hmm. see the layout, and then see this. And right. Let me take a break for a minute. He's going to follow this. You see, um, it's like he almost struck it well. If he stayed down, he gave himself a better chance to make that ball. He gave up on the shot. Right. Skipping a little bit of dilemma here. Do you play the one six? Six Do you spin on the, the one, you know? I just keep the pressure on. Bank the one down table and make him beat me. Do something. Some kind of safety here. I honestly think Skip can play this one past the six. Diamonds play tight, man. How about off the rail, off the six? You know, cut it yes. to deep part of the pocket. I can't really tell how close it is. To yeah, no, it point. is tight. Yeah. All right, the point. <laughs> Thank you, James. Either way, it's a tough shot. We got tough action here. Yeah. He did what you said, making up yeah. table. He didn't get there. He, Look at, he right. sold out the one size. He sure did. And he has a little bit of a, a gatekeeper there with the five. Shoot the one right off the five if he felt like it. Yes. I was just going to say that. He's even got a saver if he overhits this exactly. and shoot it off the five. And they don't have a good line on it, too. And Right now, he should be concentrating on where he's going to play that four ball. That's the key. <coughs> and if he does bump the five, you want a nice control bump. Oh, look at that. See? That's what I meant, though. You they know? smoked it, though, so he got underneath <laughs> the two. There you go. I wouldn't have smoked it that hard. It would have been more control bump, mm -hmm. like you said. Mm -hmm. Speed bump. 
these people. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right. He's, he's just going to go forward here. And the, the four is back up table, though. Is he's he looking to go around top left two rails around, around the nine? nine? Wow. Okay. Okay. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Skip goes to the table. Dead straight in, jacked up over the corner pocket, four balls up table. I'm ducking. <laughs> if I had a better angle, we could play the one pocket style duck and cross the four. It looks like he could bank if you want to play the one pocket. That's what I'm saying, right? Bank the and two bring the cue ball in between right. the five nine. Yeah. Right on that line. Yep. And bring the cue ball underneath there with the two ball back That's the table. That's the shot. Like it just looked funny to me from up there. It does look a little funny. Right. You hit that really, really good. Yeah, I think he. I think he wants to play our shot. He's. I mean, it, it looks like it goes that shot, not the ball. No, he's firing. Is it? Yes, he's he is. firing. He's drawing this ball. You have to hit this ball real good to do that, though. How about that? Oh, <laughs> he almost donkeyed the two in. <laughs> and he says, okay. That's what you I like to call the I'm up 6 3 shot right there. That's a 6 3 shot? That's a 6 3 shot. Okay. Right there. I'll put that in my book. <laughs> All right, so. Um, let Just us know if this, if this audio is too loud out there let me know I lo it looked like I'm peeking but I can't tell so let somebody let me know out there in the chat room please wow and that's not going to get that, it Jeff hit that first break you already had every ball with confidence he's not that's doing what that now with right the rest now? of it okay he stood up on that one he's not precise on his shape that's what I'm saying position play yeah you play that first rack real good, though. Real good. I was thinking, could it be a Super Saiyan? A Super what? Super Saiyan 7. <laughs> good thought process right there. And he just <laughs> skips, skips comes to the table and Skip is just, you know, he's got to be thinking like, man, every time I come to the table, I got problems. Yes. You see it? It's like you see it. Mm. Carlo and Chris Cruz. Carlo, Chris Cruz, 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 Yeah, he missed that. Yes, he did. Just something a little weird with his hand. He tried to go inside, control it inside English. Just oh, man. In. Okay. And he just came out of his bridge a little bit. Right. Jeff couldn't ask for a better rack to get back in the game here. Right. This is it. If you don't get out here, you're going to have a problem. Step out for a minute. Let Mrs. Melissa Herndon take right. the seat. Come on in. I'll be back. Aaron Thompson, Phil Prentice, table 19. Aaron, Pre Aaron Thompson, Phil Prentice, table 19. He raised to seven for the track. No, I was going to do the same thing before I have to. Go ahead. Never mind, I'm back. All right, yeah. She denied me. <laughs> No, she was eating. I didn't realize she was eating lunch. All good. Actually, Brooke's going to come in here real quick. Okay, cool. I love Brooke. All right, so here we go. And the score is... All right, I'm going to be joined by the lovely... Brooke Thomason. Hello. Is that correct? Is that the correct way that you say that? That is the correct Thank pronunciation. You. Thank, Thank you, Because I know it's not Thomason. I know it's Thomason. 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 Hello, everyone out in the stream. So catch me up on this matchup. All right. So right now, Jeff Pageant, he started out super strong. And, uh, you know, he got some good rolls. And he put the heat on Skip. And Skip was down, I think it was 4-0. to zero. 
four to one or whatever, and then he made a mistake and Skip came roaring back, and now Skip just handed him this game on the platter. So now we got, he just took uh, back the lead at what, five four? No, no, no. It's, it's a six four. Skip, Skip okay. is still leading. Okay. But um, the gentleman, you know, he was shooting pretty strong. But it's saying this match is brought to you by Mez Q's, the official Q of the Mez West State Tour. Come on down, check out the demo queue. Six shafts available for you to practice with. It's that new, uh, the new one, the ninth? The X Pro? Next, is that one? Yeah, the X Pro, beast. Really? Like nice. super, super low, no deflection type thing. Really I like the 900 though. That's, that's the one. Will be X 900? That's good. That's, you tried it? I, I must, it must have been that one because I haven't. Yeah, WX? I, I thought it was the latest one, but. The X Pro. But I think it was the 900? 900. Yeah, they play really, really stiff. Really strong. And you've been, I, you know, you, your game is, <laughs> I don't know, you know, I'm just saying. I'm not going to say it, but you already know what I'm saying. We scared. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they need to be. I'm like, well, Brooke is like, boop, 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 boop. Some days are better than others. I though. see it. They don't want to see you on them good days. I'll tell you that right now. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I saw you in Vegas. Remember? You was yeah. in there just well, nasty. Firebox 8 falls my, my and listen, bread and butter. I ain't trying to, you know, you on the stream, so I ain't trying to blow you up, but <laughs> she play a mean game of part cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, break out that curvage board. That's right. You don't want none. All right. Skip the caucus with some, with some work to do here, bro. Nice control hit there. What do you like for the four six? That's what I was. I'm. I'm trying to eye if, because now that he's got kind of the back angle on the three balls, mm -hmm. it's a little bit tough. Right. Maybe he goes in the side and tries to get to where he has some kind of a combo on the four six, or just rolls the four up, play safe. It looks like he was trying to come. Yeah, he got down. Mm, nice. Well, I don't know if that that's tight, that? right? Yeah, but look where the five is. Isn't it going to yeah. catch that six? Isn't that going to make any shape? Exactly. Up? Well, if he puts the other English on it, he can kick the uh, cue ball back to the side pocket. Uh, nice shot. Hi, right, me and you? Oh. <laughs> I guess we're going to play uh, Oscar Dominguez right now. <laughs> Yay for you. Yay me. Oscar, you taking the L. Watch, I'm going to call it right now. Watch that nine move. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right. Skip plays the safety here. A little bit of sloppy pull from both players is uncharacteristic for um, Skip Nakakis right here. Um, Jeff can capitalize, you know, just bear down. Make a good hit on the fives to try to keep him in trouble. All right. Looking to kick this five ball up table. Play a little safety here. Let's see what's happening. Nice, he got away with it. But, yeah, well, Skip does have to contend with the edge of the six, but the five is available. Available for Jeff right here. He can go offensive here, but the shape's going to be tough to acquire. So I think he's. Go I think he is shooting them. We're gonna see. Wow, he went for that. If he gets a little love bump here, he's going to be okay. And he does not. It's been a trial of error here, James. You know, back and forth, back and forth. What we got here, 6-4? Yeah, 6-4. He turned it over a little bit. Skip's just got to draw this back right? just yeah. a little bit. That's control. with that, though, trying to control it. Right. Sometimes you stop it. And right. Behind the line. Yeah. <laughs> He hit all that ball for all his uh, worth. He had a good shot there. Yes, he did. He said, forget <laughs> trying to hold it. I'm just going to come across <laughs> yeah. the table. That was nice because I was going to say his cueing action was a little weird there. Yeah. Right? But he hit it, he hit it good. 
There you go. He's a little straight, but he's got an angle here. He's good. letting this guy right back in the match. And right, you know, Jeff is gonna take what the table gives him. Oh yeah. That little fun one skip over here on the side, I guess. <laughs> As we do. But Jeff with a chance to steal another game here. This is he just make this ball. You don't even need to do nothing. Just make oh, that ball. Oh no. You're he he's he's not he's, yeah. he's not staying down. He's, he's, yeah. He's yeah. I, I'm just gonna table. agree with you. The confidence is out the window right now. Yeah, he moved on the whole shot and all he had to do was make the ball. Right. That's their pocket. Just make the eight. Right. Yeah. Cause you know, you can't let a, a player of a skips caliber get up there because he you know, he looks kind of sloppy right now, but trust me. He can get in gear pretty quick. Yeah. I'd like to thank Tony Rodriguez, Remax, Gold Coast Realtors. Thank you for all you do for the full world. Thank you. Cool. I'm just going to say, if there's a tour out there that has as much fun as we do on the Mez West State Tour, I want to know about it because... Uh, we got a nice rapport with all the players and everybody here, you know, has a has a good time, so. Yeah. And once again, Jeff with a chance, controlling his own destiny here. Table number one, Chris Helland and Paul Silva. Chris Helland, Paul Silva, table one, even race to seven, come get your rack. <laughs> little extra pop on that break. Broke it dry though, and uh, Skip has a shot at the one here with the two right next to it. Yes, he does. Trouble shot, three of the four, four of the five. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a long shot on this one ball. Well, I'm talking after the one ball. Yeah. Yeah, the one ball obviously is the first trouble shot. <laughs> if this was the, the other skip, I'd say yeah. <laughs> but right no, now, obviously, this anything is a, a trouble one ball. Yeah. He's just going to drill it, though. You're like the NFL when it comes to field goal kickers. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's made 37 field goals in a row. What happens? Doink. Of course. You, every time you say he's just going to drill it, it's guaranteed. <laughs> Quick, right? Well, that was long as tough. Like, if this was, you know, skipped from a couple times ago, he's, he's, he's out. But they're going back and forth. It's like they're trying to, you know, each of them is trying to get the car started, but it's tough, right? They're trying to get in there. They both know they could play a little better, so they're pressing. That's what Sal Butera would say. Shout out to my man, Sal Butera. I miss Sal. My Moore Park people, uh, if you Where see is Sal, Sal, Sal if you're Sal, listening, yeah. you suck for not being here. Yeah. Look at this, you play a little safety? Little safety here. I don't know if you got a rail, did you get a rail? You must have got a rail. Yeah. All right, so is he looking to come between the five and nine? Yes. The only problem about this this kick right here is both balls gonna be in the same quadrant. You're if you sell don't, out. right? You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna sell. It. I'd rather if you can swerve between the five and the nine. The help. Wow. <laughs> you got right past the one ball. For a million dollars, you could try that again. Ten dollars. 
All right, let's see if Skip can uh, right the ship here. Skip is on the hill, folks. Skip's on the hill? Yes. You only got a seven. He's raised to a nine. Oh, that's right. I forgot to start with the spot. Never mind. Right. Is it a race or nine? Yeah, it's a race or nine. Yeah, Skip, it started okay. out 2-1. It's yeah. a race or nine. Yeah. I was going to say, I've been away. I got to change this course. <laughs> I like this. Skip taking his time. Yeah. Looking for. Oh, it's extension problem. I was going to say, no, he's not taking his time. He's put himself out in you know, no man's land. He's going to get an extension and stroke this ball, which is okay because the three is right next to the side. Bottom. Right. But as I said earlier in the rack, three to the four <laughs> is a trouble. Is a trouble shot. All right. So, James, how do you feel about the end of the cue extension? So, I seen you trying one today and you said it added some weight to your cue? That's mine. Mine That's is a Coca Cola Mez extension. Oh, okay. Um, because so it's Coca Cola, it adds about 10 ounces more. It feels like it. I got to uh, actually concentrate on keeping the tip down because when wow. I shoot, the tip wants to go up by okay. itself. Okay, good to know. I have one of those fancy telescoping ones. That's the one I actually just ordered with Oscar. Yeah, that's that's uh, pretty cool. That Coca Cola one's way too heavy. I put it on my cue and Oscar holds it. He goes, Holy cow, it is heavy. <laughs> so it's not just me. Yeah. And once again, not. He's not playing the way I'm used to seeing him play. He's just a little out of line every time. He's what well, he's playing right now what we like to call area pool. Just get over the over in this area right. and I can make the ball. Right. He's not playing this, and this even normal this right precision here. pool. So what you playing? He's five nine? Combo. He's shooting the combo. Because if you get it hit it real good, five goes in the corner. Or you just cut it in. He can just do that. Now that was the skip in the cock as I know. He did he, what did he do? Two pump that in? Yeah, that's what I mean. He's probably thinking to himself, what am I doing? He heard me say he's out of line. He said, oh, yeah, James, I'm going to shoot you out of line. <laughs> I got you out of line right here, buddy. Here's your out of line. Here's your out of line, Harris. <laughs> Little fader route right here. Nice. That shows confidence right there. That showed a ton of confidence. And he says, okay. So right, now okay. he's on the hill. There you go. And now he's on the hill, and Jeff takes a break. Good man. I'd like to thank the official rack sponsor of the Mez West A Tour, the Turtle Rack. Available in groups of two. Order them from the Mez West A Tour website, the Turtle Rack. <laughs> See what we got around the room here, James. Spencer Ladin up 7 5 over Michael Roscoe. Nice. Bobby Yamasaki, 8-3 over Jimmy Q. Bobby Hur, 4-3 over Sam Millard. Dan Aguiar, 8-5 eight five, eight five over Rodney, Rodney Wynn. Wynn. Dan Aguiar, value possessions, baby. Damian Redman on the hill, 8-5 over Ed Marston. Damian Redman, I'm, he's, he's a sleeper to me. He's a sleeper. That guy plays good. No, I mean he plays good, but he hasn't played super good on the Mets tour yet. Uh, to his speed. Didn't see, you did obviously didn't see mine in his match in Northridge. Did I see that match? I don't know if you did. You were in the booth. Oh, I probably didn't. No, I knew the guy the I believe that. I believe he that. He actually said it after the match. He goes, uh, I don't know what happened there. I must have caught a gear. <laughs> <laughs> you like you think? I remember. That's when you was on the good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It was the second day. I didn't get to see it. Yeah. Okay. Skips in good, in good, uh, Oh, yeah, spot right here, buddy, right? Here. And there you go. Checking his angle. Want to float behind that four ball, play three in the side. He's going to go roll first. Mm hmm. He missed the ball. No, skip. <laughs> skip the Santa, so I don't know what happened. Dan Aguiar wins that game. Dan Aguiar won? Mm hmm. Brutal! I love you guys. That's right. We follow you. I'm going to get two puppies and I'm going to name one Ron and Harris. All right. Let's make sure I'm the big dog. I want to I wanna be the black one, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's got a straight on three ball, tricky to get on the four though if he goes too far. 
Yeah, it's actually real tricky to get on the floor. You can draw drag this ball, right? And just kill it. <laughs> you can stuff it in the side and draw the crap out of it. Two wow. rails. You shoot this in the corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just draw drag it. Boy, a diamond and a half almost. Man, I, I don't think... this. He doesn't even look like the same guy. I mean, I guess that's what happens sometimes, you know, you, it just throws you off. You know, you play your opponent and the roles go either way, knock you off your mental game. Right. And skip to stays in control, plays those little right. containing safeties. That's, that's what he has to do. Keep him in trouble. Keep him frustrated. Yeah. It's not trouble. It's frustration. Yeah. yeah. He's already frustrated kicking. that he's missing shots that he knows he's not supposed to. Right. And then now every time he misses, he gets a roll, he's come back to the table kicking. Yes. I get to play the uh, USA Snooker champion next. <laughs> oh, man. Sargon Isaac. And I'm sure he's got a little revenge stored up for me because I beat him in uh, at the... Uh, San Jose. Uh oh. So, hey, it's gonna be a fun one. He's had revenge in his eyes. <laughs> Sargon plays good too, but you play good too, so it'll be a good match. Skip the Cox is gonna get on the five game angle for the six. That was good. See there, go skip. That's the skip I know. Nice, laid back. He overshot this a yeah, little. Yeah, he did just a little bit though. He's all right. And then he's always gonna make quick work of this. You going to end rail or you just gonna? End rail. <laughs> That's like four times that he's done it. He's going to he bank did, this 100 miles an hour. Okay. He's going to bank he that ball a, 100 miles an hour because he's frustrated. Yes. Because he know he's supposed to be out. Yeah, that was a frustration, but he didn't even look at it. He just got down and two stroked it. Banked it short. Is he going to scratch? Is he scratching? No. <laughs> wow. All right. Once again, he has a shot here. If he plays this shot with a control speed, he's good. <clears throat> and Skip missed it right back. And leaves him tough. <clears throat> I think... Uh, I hate to say it, but I think Jeff's in give up mode right now. You got a little give up stroke? Give up mode. <laughs> Full mode, not Full just stroke. Full mode. <laughs> <laughs> I think um you know, I think I'm ducking here. I'll put the nine ball on the diamond down table and he's have you shoot from he's there. Just straight up, let the cue ball fly back and forth. I'm scared, man. He can he can play this safe ten out of ten. So put him put the nine ball on the diamond. <coughs> Told you he was playing the cut. Oh boy, side pocket. Table number thirteen, Jerry Jamito and Brian Brown. <laughs> Jerry Jamito, Brian Brown. Side Table pocket. thirteen, Jerry goes to nine. Brian goes to seven. Come get your rack. Yeah, looks Table number twelve, Mark Moser and Curtis. Yeah. Mark Moser and Curtis. Table twelve. Even yeah. race to seven. Come get your rack. There you go. That's all she wrote. 